Yo, what's up everybody? We're back with another Pixel Lab Text Effect tutorial. Today, I'm showing y'all how I created this golden red luxury 3D text effect in Pixel Lab. This is actually an upgrade from my previous tutorial, where I showed how to create a white gold luxury text effect. But this time, we're making it even better, more colorful, eye-catching, and straight up luxurious. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Alright, first things first, the background. Now, you already know a good text effect is nothing without a solid background to make it pop. For this one, I'm going with a dark scarlet red gradient. Gives it that deep, premium look. Here, I'm using a radial gradient, so the color fades outward from the center. For the outer color, I'm choosing this almost black red. It's got that deep, rich tone that really makes the text stand out. And for the inner color, I'm going with the scarlet red proper. Just going to shift this up a bit to get the right balance. Yep, that's looking clean already. Now it's time for the star of the show, the text. I'm typing in luxury, but don't worry, you can change this to whatever you want later. This text effect is completely editable. The font, Sinzo Decorative Bold, same as last time. This font just works perfectly for luxury style designs. It's got that elegant, high-end feel to it. Now, here's the thing, we're going to need three text layers to achieve this effect. So, I'll duplicate the text twice, making sure they're all perfectly aligned in the center. Then, I'll open up the layers panel and hide the first two, so we can focus on just the bottom layer for now. With the bottom text selected, let's head over to text color and pick something yellow, like a bright gold color. Actually, it doesn't even matter much, because what really gives us the 3D effect is the stroke color. That's where the magic happens. So, let's enable stroke effect and bump the stroke width up to 6. This makes the edges thicker, which is exactly what we need for the extrusion. Now, for the stroke color, I'm using a gold gradient. If you saw my other tutorial, you already know how to do this. It's super easy. It's just a mix of yellow and brown, positioned at different spots along the gradient slider. So, here we've got a yellow to brown, to yellow, and here we have yellow again, and brown close to another yellow, and so on. This setup creates that realistic gold look when we apply the 3D effect. Now, let's bring it to life. I'll go over to 3D effect, enable it, and boom, we've got some depth. But we're not done yet. First, I'll remove the darkening. We want the color as it is. Then, I'll make sure Extrude Stroke is enabled. This makes the stroke color extend into the 3D effect. And finally, I'll disable Lighting Simulation. This ensures that our gold gradient stays exactly as it is, without any unwanted shadows or highlights messing it up. Now, look at that. It's already starting to shine. Next, let's bring back the second text layer. For this one, we're keeping it simple. I'm just gonna add a luxurious red texture to it. So, I'll go to Texture, select this rich, detailed red pattern, and apply it. Now, don't forget to check Maintain Ratio. This keeps the texture from stretching weirdly. And I'm also going to scale it up slightly, just to make those details more visible. See that? Now it really gives off that premium, luxurious feel. But we're not stopping there. I want to add some highlights to give it more depth. So, I'll enable Inner Shadow, and instead of using black as usual, I'm choosing a bright red to act as a rim light along the edges, making it look even shinier. I'll tweak the blur radius a bit and adjust the X and Y offset to position the highlight at the bottom left edge of the text. Perfect. Now it's looking glossy and high-end. Alright, onto the final text layer. This one is all about adding that extra bit of depth to the surface to make the whole design stand out. First, I'm going to remove the fill color. Yep, we don't need any color inside this text, just the outline. Now I'll go to its stroke properties, enable the stroke and set the stroke color to a bright golden yellow like we use for the gold gradient. Then increase the stroke width to 5 just one point smaller than the 3D layer. But we're not done yet. Now we need to add some shadow to make the outline look like it's carved out of the text surface. So I'll enable inner shadow, set the color to black, and increase the blur radius a bit to soften the edges. Now the text really pops. And there you have it. This looks really good. It's got that luxury feel, that bold 3D depth, and the gold just shines beautifully against the red. It's like the upgraded version of the white gold effect from my last tutorial, but with even more flavor. But hey, maybe red isn't your thing. 
Maybe you want to rock with blue, purple, or even emerald green. No problem. If you want to learn how to switch up the colors for this effect, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my next tutorial, where I'll show you exactly how to customize this design to match any color scheme. That's it for this video. If you found this helpful, smash that like button. And if you're new here, hit subscribe for more dope Pixel Lab tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!